Welcome back to Hourglass, Barney Miller cast, then and now 2023. When it comes to the workplace, few places are as exciting as Barney Miller's office. From January 1975 to May 1982, the sitcom offered a fresh look at the crime drama. Hal Linden, Barney Miller. Since most of Barney Miller's story takes place in the detective team's room, the team needs a strong leader by its side. That comes in the form of main character, Barney Miller, played by Hal Linden. While his character was about to be promoted and never received a single nomination, Linden received Emmy nominations for most of the season without a win. Sometimes life really does imitate art. Linden will turn 91 in March this year, and despite his age, he is still active in show business. As of 2022, he is working on a new film project titled The Wisdor Hotel. Good for him for keeping up with what he loves. Abe Vigoda, Philip K. Fish. Vigoda plays the role of a stubborn sergeant, but before that, Viewers can recognize him as someone involved in mafia crime like Salvatore Tessio in The Godfather. Vigoda was called in while he was sweaty and tired from jogging, and that made him look perfect as fish with hemorrhoids. False death notices keep appearing about Vigoda. Luckily, he has a sense of humor and responded with a big joke of his own in the form of a stunt photo where he sat up in a coffin. Vigoda brightened everyone's lives, and sadly his life ended in 2016. Max Gale, Stan Wojo Wojciechowicz. Wojo may have been a well-intentioned but naive character in the cast of Barney Miller, this kind and well-meaning detective helped Gale's fame skyrocket so he could get even bigger roles. His most famous film is arguably DC Cab, which had him working alongside Mr. T. Gale as involved with comedy and crime in equal measure. He landed a role in The Wiz Kids, sporting a rather distant mustache. But he really strayed from the comedy side when he appeared on General Hospital, taking on the role of Mike Corbin. He was also in an episode of Magnum P.I. in 2022. Ron Glass, Ron Harris. Portraying Detective Ron Harris requires a lot of nuance and a sense of fun. Luckily, the cast of Barney Miller only includes Ron Glass, whose range cannot be overstated. Harris has high hopes for her background and big dreams for her writing career. Glass has achieved this on and off the show. But later, his television career took him on a very different path. Sci-fi fans will enjoy seeing him as Shepard Daryl Book in Firefly and Serenity. There, he provided spiritual advice and a commanding presence. Glass left this world at the age of 71, leaving behind a beloved legacy across many genres. Jack Sue, Nick Yamana. Shows know they hit it big when a joke becomes a hit. Jack Sue's character Sergeant Yamana brought that to Barney Miller through his famously terrible coffee. His body suffered harsh treatment from smoking and he died at the age of 61. When he was taken to the hospital, he famously told co-star Hal Linden, it must have been coffee, get high. Gregory Sierra Miguel Chano Amanguale. Chano, like Wojo, takes his work with the team very seriously. However, he shows his passion more clearly and often hurls criticism in Spanish when things don't go well. His character is visibly affected after a bank robbery turns deadly. 
Most recently in 2018, Sierra became a part of history as part of the long-awaited final project that Orson Welles wrote and directed. He died at the age of 83 after a long battle with stomach and liver cancer three weeks before his 84th birthday. Steve Landisberg, Arthur Dietrich. Sergeant Arthur Dietrich gave an early example of over-explaining things and completely missing the point. It cannot be called mansplaining because, to be honest, everyone was fascinated by his mysterious vernacular contributions. Initially, he appeared as a priest in Season 2, then joins as Dietrich. After healing through faith and justice, he plays the role of a person who is healed through medicine. He passed away in 2010 at the age of 74 from colon cancer. James Gregory, Frank Luger. Almost everyone has an acquaintance who is a verbal time bomb with outrageous comments. Even for the film's time, Inspector Frank Luger's comments often sound dated. He has become an absolute giant in Hollywood. His voice made him an excellent actor for gruff, tough men such as in The Manchurian Candidate and Beneath the Planet of the Apes. However, in the back, there is a lot of hair. Comes with his role there. His role in the cast of Barney Miller came at the end of his career and he died in 2002. Ron Carey, Carl Levitt. Levitt represents the cross-section of all those who want credit where credit is due he worked very hard, but also made sure his superiors knew everything he did. Similar to Steve Landisberg, Carey actually appeared earlier in the season in case he was a criminal. In 1968, he married his wife Sharon. Barney Miller arrived around mid-career, and Carey went on to appear in High Anxiety and World History. Sadly, he passed away in 2007 from a stroke and his work with the New York Detectives remains his most famous credit. Barbara Barry, Elizabeth Liz Miller. Liz Miller is a social worker devoted to Barney Miller. She is also the main character's wife. She appears as an introduction, especially in phone calls rather than in person. But when she does appear, Barbara Barry lovingly brings her to life. Her work there earned her an Academy Award nomination, but she didn't stop there. Barry went beyond acting and wrote many children's books. At 91 years old, she wants to help inform readers and makes an admirable effort to realize that goal. Sadly, in September 2014, she announced that she had been diagnosed with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, but was still in remission.